right, today we will be disassembling an Alienware 15R3. And to start out, we're gonna go ahead and use a small Phillips head bit. This one is a 2.0. Okay, well first we'll go ahead and unscrew the bottom cover. All right, once you have the screws out, we can go ahead and lift the cover off. All right, so with that uh, bottom cover off, um, it gives us access to the hard drive caddy and the hard drive, memory, SSD, and then the Wi-Fi card. So we'll go ahead and remove those. For that SATA connector, just pull up on the little ribbon. So just remove the one screw and then pull it out laterally. On the Wi-Fi card, it looks like you have to remove the screw before you can remove the antennas. So once you get the screw out, you can remove the little antenna cover and then remove the antennas, pulling straight up. And then we can pull the card out. Before we separate the two parts of the laptop, we got to take off the um, this bottom back cover. So we'll go ahead and remove the two screws on the back. And we can use a straight edge to pull up on one side and then separate that little back cover from the laptop. And looks like there's a few more screws underneath that cover. So just keep in mind that both of these screws were really tight. You have to really put some pressure on there to remove those without stripping them. It looks like it's our last two screws. So we'll go ahead and find the seam between the bottom case and the palm rest and then get a straight edge in there and just separate them. Okay, 
So it looks like there's a couple ribbons kind of fed through. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those. Looks like one more. And then you can gently lift up and remove the chassis cover. All right, first we can remove the battery. Go ahead and pull that connector out of the motherboard. And then, looks like all the screws for the battery were with the bottom case, so after you free the connector, you should just be able to remove the battery. All right, now we'll um, go ahead and undo the heat sink and remove it from the motherboard. Uh, the screws are labeled with numbers, but it does not matter which order you take them off. It's for reinstalling it, so you tighten the heat sink down evenly. screws out, just give it a little wiggle and it should come off. All right, so with the motherboard, it looks like there's some connectors on the bottom as well as the top. So we're gonna go ahead and free all the connectors that we can see up here in the top. And then we'll remove the screws for the motherboard and then get the smaller connectors underneath. And you will need to unstick the pram battery as well. Most of these connectors you just lift up with your fingernails. Um, one of these is just the type where you kind of flip up the little retainer. But it definitely helps to have fingernails. Looks like the fans are also connected underneath the uh, motherboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the screws for the fans so that they come up with the motherboard and then that might give me a little bit of slack to disconnect them once I raise the motherboard up.
All right, so it looks like there's just a few here on the very end. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and we should be able to pull the motherboard free. All right, so we can gently tilt up the motherboard and then finish removing the fan connectors. Finish removing the USB board. All right, now we can remove the button board and the DC jack. All right, so we're gonna be leaving this uh, complete, but if you need to remove the keyboard, it's just a bunch of screws holding on the backing plate. And the same with the uh, touchpad, just a few screws. All right, now we can remove the display assembly. So it looks like there's just a few screws on each hinge. Then we'll remove those and separate the rest of the palm rest assembly from the display. Our cables are ready to pull through. And then we can just separate the two. All right, this display assembly we're gonna uh, leave complete, but I will go ahead and remove the bezel to show you the inside. It's actually pretty easy to get into and replace the screen if you need to. So just take a straight edge, work your way around the bezel. you have it started, it's just a matter of going around and popping up the little snaps. It looks like it's adhered to at the bottom, so just keep that in mind. Just kind of work it and then gently pull up on the bottom part to free that adhesive. There we 
we have the inside. Um, looks like it's a few screws to remove the LCD panel. Um, webcam is just stuck on and then uh, you just have a few ribbons in there and then some screws for the hinges. So once you have the bezel off you have easy access to the rest of the display assembly. So that is it for this Alienware 15 R3. If this video helped you or you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.